Food is crucial to the Exodus. The Lord reaches into Egypt and brings Israel out of Egypt. And once they come out of Egypt, they are in a wilderness where there's no water and no food. And the Lord miraculously provides water at Mount Sinai when Moses strikes the rock and water comes out. And I think we should picture that as not just striking the rock, meaning Mount Sinai, but he strikes the rock that is the rock of Israel. His, his, uh, his rod passes through the Lord himself and the Lord, as it were, um, flows with living water for the people. The Lord provides the bread of angels, bread from heaven to feed the people. And food continues to be important when Israel conducts and, and cuts covenant with Yahweh at Sinai. Yahweh cuts a covenant, a marital covenant, as it were, with Israel. He gathers the people at the foot of Sinai. Uh, they purify themselves. They prepare themselves with offerings and sacrifices. Uh, the Lord speaks from the mountain. He speaks the 10 words, and then Moses goes up to receive the word uh, from, from the Lord, uh, which he brings to the people, and the people all agree, everything that the Lord has said, we will do. Uh, but that's not the end of the covenant cutting ceremony. It's not just a matter of gathering, hearing the word, swearing loyalty to the Lord and swearing loyalty to the word. It also involves a meal and it climaxes with the meal. When Moses and Aaron and the, uh, Aaron's sons and 70 elders go up halfway up the mountain uh, and they eat and drink in the presence of God and they look up through a pavement and above that pavement they see the Lord. Uh, they eat and drink in the presence of the Lord and that the Lord doesn't stretch out his hand against them. That whole sequence is a covenant cutting sequence, but that covenant cutting sequence ends with a covenant meal, which is what we're doing, of course, every time we gather together for worship. We're gathering together for worship. We're cleansed. The word of God is delivered to us. We swear loyalty to the Lord in various ways, but the worship of the Lord, the worship of the people of God ends with a covenant meal, with the Lord inviting us into his presence, not stretching out his hand against us. Every time we have that meal, the Lord is confirming that we are his family, we are his son, we are his bride, we are his covenant people, and we are uh, bound to him by covenant.